Hi, Gene here with today's thought. And today we're going to be, or I'm going to be, turning the floor over to somebody else, and you can hear his thoughts. Very interesting thoughts, and a very interesting precedent, too. Uh, Vahid Beheshti is the name of this gentleman. He is an Iranian uh, dissident, uh, Iranian activist. And what's interesting about him, I mean, he opposes the Iranian uh, regime, and he has some things to say, and what's interesting, uh, especially in this case, what he had to say, he said before, this is a first-time event, uh, spoke in Israel before the Israeli Knesset. The uh, Knesset, in case you didn't know, that is the Israeli parliament, uh, their legislature equivalent to the British Parliament. So, uh, the member of uh, a member of the British Parliament is an MP. A member of the Knesset is an MK. Anyways, um, Mr. Beheshti spoke before the um, before the Israeli Knesset, and I'm just going to turn the floor over, and you can hear what he has to say. Very, very interesting. So, without, uh, as the phrase goes, without further ado, here is Vahid uh, Beheshti. It's, I think it's very significant and very important at this time, very crucial moment of history. We have to get together. We have to be united against this terrorism. If we claim our heart beat for a humanity, if we are claiming uh, we have to stand against terrorism, so this is the time. And it's very important for me to do anything that I can uh, to not allow the only democracy in the Middle East goes on its knees in front of this terrorist. That's why I'm here. And the other side of it, of course, is the history of Iranians and Israelis. This morning I was in Temple Mount for a few hours and it reminded me the great history that we have together. And nearly 2,600 years ago, Prophet Cyrus the Great freed the people of Israel from slavery and gave them opportunity to rebuild their temple, Jerusalem Temple. We have a lot of common interest and most importantly, we have a common enemy. We have a common war together. The ordinary people of Iran, they have shouted, especially since October the 7th. Once I think it's become viral and famous in football stadium, when the Iranian regime's um, agents, they brought the flags of Israel, uh, Palestine to uh, show it to the people of Iran and they were expecting some kind of support but what they heard by 50,000 Iranians it was shocking, it's gone wild. The message of Iranian people is this we love the people of Israel we need them and they need us we have to be together in this war against terrorism the other uh, point I would like to emphasize. You see when the Iranian regime draw and paint the flag of Israel on the street, especially some of the pathway, which is very narrow, you cannot step not on the flag of Israel, but the people of Iran, they jump from it and they turn back and go down and kiss that. So that's how the Iranian people feel about the people of Israel. As I said, very interesting. So let's give all our support to the Iranian dissidents, actually to the people of Iran, uh, who, as uh, Mr. Beheshti just uh, explained, are widely supported, supportive of Israel. And in fact, before the before the Ayatollahs came to power, the under the Shah. Is, Relations were excellent between uh, Israel and um, between Israel and, and Iran. And in fact, going all the way back, as, as Mr. Beheshti explained, all the way back to uh, ancient times when King Cyrus. Uh, uh, he conquered what happened the, the Babylonians had, had conquered uh, Judea and um, 
exiled uh, all the Jews or most of the Jews to Babylon and King Cyrus uh, conquered, defeated the Babylonians and he allowed the uh, the Jews to return to their homeland, rebuild their, ten- their, their temple and so on and so forth and that is um, that's just my illustration of how far back the, the relations between uh, um, Jews and Persians go, uh, goes. So that's uh, the, the Iranians are the present day Persians. They're Persians. And um, I guess that's my thought for today. Thanks for stopping by. If you could subscribe, that would really be great. Share this video with anyone you think would benefit from it. But most of all, come back and see me again. Would love to see all of you again. And until I do see all of you again, bye.